So I've been working a lot with VR lately, and I want to make a video about how I achieve some of the lighting effects that are going on in this model here. I have been using a program called SimLab Composer, which allows you to add um, baked texture maps onto the 3D model. And then once you bake all this lighting into the surfaces that you want, you can export that as a OBJ um, model from SimLab Composer. And what this is going to do is it's going to allow you to bring that back into SketchUp. So we'll save that as an OBJ and it takes the materials of all these surfaces. You can see some of the under cabinet shadowing going on, all that kind of stuff. So we'll open up SketchUp here and bring that model back into SketchUp. So in order to get an OBJ into SketchUp, I have an extension from SimLab called the SimLab OBJ Importer. And that'll bring in, that'll bring in the model and it'll bring in the associated materials along with it. Make sure you put that on the origin point here. It's good practice when you import models just to make sure you put them into the origin point. So you can see typically this is not what a SketchUp model would look like. Um, you wouldn't have any of that baked in lighting into the surfaces like the corners of the bookshelves, things like that. The underneath the, the cabinets there, um, all that lighting is baked in from basically what you're doing is rendering the model and then adding that rendered texture to that surface. So it creates more of a um, realistic look, a more dynamic look in virtual reality because a lot of the virtual reality models are really flat and almost seem two dimensional because of the shading and shadowing going on, kind of cartoony. So. What this does is I'm going to save the SketchUp model and then I'm going to bring this into my VR software, which is um, Prospect by Iris VR. And in Iris VR, they allow you to bring a SketchUp model. So the SketchUp model has now been saved with all the materials from the bacon process. You can see all that nice shading and shadowing. It's not perfect, but it's definitely better than just the um, cartoon effect that SketchUp gives you for VR. I mean, there's there's a time and place for all this different levels of visuals, but it definitely adds a little bit. So I'm going to delete this old model out because I was doing some testing and I will import in the new model into this. So this takes a little while to sync up everything. Um, but once that syncs, you can actually launch this on the desktop to kind of double check some things. And because I don't have a headset to, on my um, desktop, I just have the Quest and it's not actually connected to my desktop. There's, there's no headset, so you kind of move around inside the the model on your desktop. I accidentally selected that stuff. But you can see the lighting's pretty 
effective and um, gives you a good sense of the depth to the space. So now I'm gonna take this into the Oculus Quest and I've already downloaded the app for Prospect, which is kind of a process in itself. I did a video on getting that loaded to your Quest. But once you have that, you need to make sure you have um, all the right credentials and all that kind of stuff. And this will start syncing up when you log in takes a while so give it some time just kind of sit there and watch it sync once the project sync up you'll see it here so click on it it'll start downloading that model and this seems to go by fairly quick I guess it'll depend on the size of your actual model okay so that's done so go into the model and it'll load up here and then you'll be in like dollhouse mode, which is where it puts it right in front of you. You can grab the two, uh, pinch that down, kind of rotate it around, do some cool like section cut type stuff through there. I mean, this, this is pretty awesome. Um, being able to do this kind of stuff and really see what the model looks like. Um, so you can see all that light baked onto those walls. Pretty cool. Look at that little sink back there. You can put this plane basically in any position you want to cut through whatever floor you want. So I'm gonna teleport down in here. And now you get a feel for what it actually feels like in, in VR. So I'm just gonna walk around this model for a little while.